loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrik if you are new here and today I'm going to be sharing with you 7 tips for clearer skin. Now I've been on a skin journey for a really long time. It has been a process. I have tried many products and I have now lived in 3 different climates. And let me tell you, there is no secret to clearer skin, but I am going to share with you some tips that I have learned along the way. So today I have no makeup on, some lovely hyperpigmentation, and 7 great tips for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Tip number one is to drink more water. Now we all know drinking water has a ton of benefits, but in this case, the purpose of this is to flush your skin of toxins. Now also another cool benefit of drinking a ton of water helps the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. By hydrating your body, which hydrates your skin, helps with fine lines and wrinkles, which we all like, as well as drinking a ton of water helps with making your skin look more radiant. So if I were you, I would start drinking a ton of water. I have noticed being here in Hawaii, since it's a lot hotter, I drink a ton more water. And to be honest, I've noticed a huge difference. Now I just hope it helps in the future with the fine lines and wrinkles part. <laughs> so the second tip is to find skincare that works for you. Now this definitely will take some time to find products that work for your skin. Definitely trial and error. It literally took me 10 years to figure out what ingredients work for my skin. Now I did have the help of a dermatologist and I was also seeing an esthetician for over a year to help me with this. Now my main tip here is if that isn't something that is available to you, there are other options out there. Something that I would recommend is Curology. And I've actually teamed up with Curology on this video to share with you my recent experience on my custom formula. So that way if you are somebody who's looking to clear up their skin, having troubles finding the right ingredients, or just needing help with skincare in general, then there is definitely a chance that Curology is going to be the product for you. But I wanted to share with you guys my experience so that way you guys know kind of how it works. Now the process was really, really simple. All I did was head over to their website, I signed up, I took a very simple quiz, and then I also uploaded photos of my skin. I did like both sides so that way their provider could see exactly what was going on with my skin and create the perfect formula for me. Oh, and also there is a part of a quiz where they ask you if you want a Retin-A ingredient in your formula. I selected yes because that type of ingredient helps with fine lines and wrinkles. So I personally recommend starting off with a low percentage of that type of ingredient so that way your skin can get used to it and you can ease your way into a higher percentage and all you have to do is message your provider and they can up that percentage as your skin gets more used to it and I actually think this is a really cool feature with Curology because you can actually talk to somebody and they can help you with your skincare you're not just on your own you actually have somebody that is here to help you with a formula and find something that works for you and then shortly after taking the quiz, a package arrived to my door with the three products in there. Now, I have been using the Curology products for over a month now, and I just have to say I've been really happy with my results. I've noticed a huge difference in my hyperpigmentation and my dark spots, and my hormonal acne has stayed under control. Now, obviously, during my lovely girl time, I do have a couple that pop up, but I noticed it was dramatically reduced, so I was really, really happy with that. Something else I wanted to note was the cleanser and the moisturizer are pretty much scentless, which I thought was really nice. So I felt like it was really gentle on the skin. And then I also opted for the rich moisturizer because I personally like a lot of hydration. So the rich moisturizer has been working really well for me. So yeah, just pick your moisturizer depending on your skin type, but I really like the rich one. So just to wrap this all up, if this is something that interests you, I would highly recommend checking out the link down in the description box. By using that link below, you get your first custom formula for free. All you have to do is pay for shipping and handling. And something else that's really cool is it is completely risk-free. If it's something you no longer want to do, you can cancel at any point. But if you are somebody that is struggling with acne and are looking for a solution, this just might be the one for you. So check it out. Now on to tip three. All right, tip number three is to sweat. We all know working out feels really good, but it actually does help your skin as well. By increasing blood flow, you are actually nourishing your skin cells and helping keeping them vital, as well as you're cleaning your skin from the inside out. You're sweating out toxins, which obviously will help with your skin. The only thing that I've noticed from personal experience is if you sweat a lot, sometimes you'll clog your pores. So my recommendation is once you are done working out, make sure you rinse your face or go home and shower as soon as possible. But needless to say, we all know exercising feels really good, not only for your body, but for your mind. Tip number four is to eat healthy. We all know this is a little bit obvious and we also know how big of a part food plays into our skin and body. Now, something I highly recommend doing is getting blood work done to help you determine what food is 
good for you. Like I just got some done and I learned that red meats don't affect me, I should stay away from dairy, I should stay away from gluten. There's a few other things like sugars that I shouldn't eat as well. So I learned a lot about my body and what's good and what's bad. Now it's absolutely amazing to me how just making simple changes to your diet can affect your skin that much. So it is worth it every once in a while to go get blood work done and see how your body is doing from the inside and see how that can help you on the outside. Tip number five is to understand your skin type. Now, somehow this is so tricky for everyone. I have struggled with it for so long. I used to think I was a like combination or a little bit oily because like in high school I would like sweat. Not true, I actually discovered I have dry skin. I have learned how much my skin likes moisture and hydration. It absolutely lives for it. Even in a humid climate like Hawaii, my skin absolutely loves good hydration. So I would really take a second, learn what type of skin type you are, and that'll help you when it comes to picking products that work for you, when it comes to moisturizers. I feel like a lot of people, when they have acne, try to dry out their skin, but sometimes you may actually have dry skin. Your skin might actually need more hydration so that way it can heal itself. So find out what skin type you are and I feel like that would help you a ton. The sixth tip is to pick your makeup wisely. My recommendation with this is to do your research on products and ingredients and see what may be affecting your skin. So if you have a product that you're like, this did not work for me, I broke out, maybe do some research and see what similarities that that product has with another one that made you break out as well. And you may learn that you need to stay away from a certain ingredient. I have definitely noticed that there are some foundations that just don't work for me and I break out. So do your research and see why maybe something isn't working for you. The seventh and last tip is so important. Oh my gosh, my mom used to yell at me all the time for this. The seventh tip is not to touch your face. Do not touch your face. Oh my gosh, in high school I used to sit at my desk and I used to either put my chin in my hand or on my cheek. And I used to wonder why my chin would break out and my cheek would break out. I was so confused. I was like, oh my gosh. Then I put two and two together. As soon as I stopped doing that, my face cleared up. I've also realized holding a cell phone. Why every once in a while do I get little zits right here? Holding my phone. Your phone is really dirty. Bottom line is, do not touch your face. It'll minimize germs and dirt on your face. Don't let anyone touch your face. Just don't touch your face. Oh my gosh, I cannot stress that enough. Do not touch your face unless your hands are clean and everything's clean and just refrain. It'll help you a ton. And I realize I kind of went off on a tangent there, but don't touch your face. Well loves, that is it. Those are my seven tips for clear skin. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys have any tips, please leave them down in the comments below. I am always looking for tips for clear skin because I'm 25 and still have acne. Don't know why, but you know, I guess that's growing up or being an adult. Don't know, but it's still frustrating. So I feel like we can all relate on that level. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to check out Curology down in the description box below. Also, don't forget that you get your first custom formula for free. All you have to do is pay for shipping and handling, so might as well try it out. It is risk-free. Um, but yeah, that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.